And we want to turn now to the story that's drawing lots of national attention right now. Mystery still surrounding a massive house fire in Tampa's Avalon neighborhood. We've been following this story, of course, since it broke early Wednesday morning. The devastating fire destroying that house and a family of four found dead inside with gunshot wounds. Our crews are digging for more information as investigators try to determine exactly what led up to this tragedy. Eric Waxler joins us live now from outside that neighborhood with the very latest. Yeah, we're hearing that authorities might be wrapping up their investigation inside the house here in Avala. We checked with the sheriff's office and they say right now they have no updates for us planned yet. And we, meanwhile, are waiting, all of us, neighbors, friends, family, everyone is waiting to find out who is responsible. Family, friends, neighbors, everyone wants to know what happened to the Campbell family, confirmed dead by Kim Campbell's father to us yesterday. He told us on the phone he had no reason to think there was anything wrong. But they had an exceptionally fine marriage, a very close family. But investigators say they are looking into Darren Campbell's finances to try and find a motive as to why this all may have happened. They found his gun in the house and say he bought several gas cans and have video of him loading up on fireworks three days before the fire. More than $600 worth, just like the ones you see here. The vice president of Phantom Fireworks says there wasn't anything unusual about Campbell's purchase. He didn't say anything or do anything to raise any eyebrows in the showroom. The type of products he purchased, the amount he spent, was pretty typical. If it's a murder-suicide where you kill a whole family like a little amount, people are usually fairly disturbed. Psychiatrist Walter Alford does a lot of work with serial killers and the mentally ill. While some are speculating Campbell may have killed his family and himself because of financial troubles, he doesn't think that would be the only cause. In terms of people who commit this kind of thing, usually there's a screw loose pretty badly. It doesn't look like it on the outside, but when you scratch beneath the surface, you see there's something really crazy. Meanwhile, we drove by Carrollwood Day School just down the road where the two teenage victims attended and where Darren Campbell was the treasurer. Their security guards posted at both entrances to keep media and other onlookers out from their property. Live in Tampa, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.